Hi, in this video I am going to teach you how to install a chess engine to your computer. Open source chess engines like Stockfish and Leela Chess Zero can be easily used within a chess based program thanks to something called UCI. It may sound complicated at first but it's actually incredibly simple. Adding UCI engines to a chess based program is a straightforward process and in this video I am going to show you how to do it. What is UCI? I am going to start this video by getting the one and only complicated bit the name out of the way first. UCI stands for Universal Chess Interface. It allows you to add any UCI chess engine to a chess based program to a chess GUI or indeed to any of the Fritz family of flame programs. If you don't know much about computers, then it can sound a little daunting. However, the reality is that it is an incredibly simple way of adding different chess engines to your chess based program. There are many UCI engines available in the internet, but the process to add any of them is identical. So let's walk to adding a UCI chess engine to ChessBase 50 using the aforementioned Stockfish as our example. The process is same for any other ChessBase family or Fritz family program. First, you need to download your UCI engine. I had taught you how to download the Stockfish chess engine in the previous video. How files will download on your system will depend on what internet browser etc you are using. However, whatever the process, the important thing to note is where that file is downloaded to, which folder that file now appears in. On my computer, is it the chess UCI engines folder. Double click the folder to see the contents. Here are the four files. The one that we are interested in is the one that ends .exe. If your version of Windows is set to not show the part the dot in file names, then you are looking for application under type. It's worth noting that the UCI engine can be saved in any path or folder you wish. However, I'll have to create a separate folder somewhere safe as the program needs to know where the engine files are and they have to stay at that folder location. You may wish to create a new folder and name it UCI engines or whatever and save it somewhere memorable. You go back into the chess based program and into a board window. You can open a new board window by pressing the keys Ctrl plus N at the same time. Looking in the home tab of the ribbon for the engine section and click on create UCI engine. This brings up the setup UCI engine window. Click on the button with the three dots in the top right. Then navigate to that folder containing the stockfish engine from the earlier step. Click on the file then click open. The program author and name will automatically appear. I tend to check the priority below normal box as in my experience it reduces issues with my computer facing while not hindering the level of engine analysis. Then click ok and you are ready to go. Stockfish or whatever engine you used will now appear in your list of available engines and you can even set it as the default engine if you wish. The process is going to be exactly the same for any UCI engines you download. It can seem complicated at first glance, but as you can see, it is an incredibly straightforward. You can now access a world of UCI engines. It's like having a whole array of grandmasters ready to give you advice at a moment's notice. If you are still watching, I appreciate you. Hit that like button and subscribe to SH Chess Academy for more chess tutorials like this. See you in the next video. Good luck.
गुड चेस्ट